What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe. This is the Python Room. And today, I'm going to be talking about something a little different other than the snakes, lizard, and scorpion. I'm going to be talking about f feeders. Mealworms, superworms, beetles, whatnot. And um, I actually got this idea from... Um, this one YouTuber, Northern Exotics. He's I think he's out in like UK or something. Um I love his videos. I you know, I follow him, I watch all of his stuff. And um he does this uh series on raising your own um, feeders, raising your own male worms, crickets, you know, superworms, whatnot. And um how to go about doing it successfully. So, I did, of course, you know, because I got the gecko and I got scorpion up there, which, um, you know, I'm not really sure what he likes to eat. I give him a little bit of everything. He has eaten roaches. I've seen, because I found the carcass of a roach cut in half and all. Uh, yeah, it was, it was gross. But as far as crickets and mealworms and superworms, I have not found like him. I, have, I haven't actually seen him eat a cricket, mealworm, or a superworm. I've tried to offer it to him, and he gets very defensive and just like you know, you know, reacts. But he doesn't actually. He hasn't actually taken it from me, if that makes sense. Anyways, moving on. So I posted a video. Uh, no, no, sorry. I posted a picture on my. Facebook page earlier today of, um, I'll show you in a second, of my container that I raise mealworms in, and actually there's been some beetles starting to, starting to, you know, come about, starting to hatch, and, um, somebody left a comment saying, ew, gross, and yeah, sure, it, it does seem gross, absolutely, but when you have... When you have animals that you have to feed, you know, every day, every other day, you know, you don't want to go to the store every other day. You don't want to order from these sites once a week, twice a week, three times a week, whatever, you know, and constantly end up running out of mealworms, running out of crickets, running out of superworms. So, you know, it's a good idea to raise your own and all you need to do if you're thinking about raising your own you get yourself some kind of container like a rubbermaid container um it doesn't have to be a certain depth any depth is fine as long as it's like you know plastic and deep enough for them the, the worms not to be able to crawl out well me i had one of those three tier um storage storage bins and i decided to convert that into a housing unit for my bugs for my feeders and it just made sense you know male worms in one super worms in the other and then in the very bottom that's where i have like um the stuff that i would use like to feed the the, the bugs or um those uh the egg crates because you want to put an egg crate in in the con in the container where you house the the bugs that way that gives them something to feel like comfortable on you know, and now I had one in my mealworm container, but I noticed that they were eating it and I really didn't want that because, you know, I'm feeding it off to my animals and I don't want my animals to digest the bug after it has eaten the egg crate, if that makes sense. Anyways, moving forward. So this is, this is my mealworm farm i guess you would say and uh i'm gonna show you i'm gonna show you um you know the evolution of mealworms if you don't know so starting off you want a container like this and um get yourself some some oats just some regular plain oats doesn't have to be a certain flavor and put that in and what they're gonna do is they're gonna not only are they gonna eat the oats, but they're gonna 
burrow underneath the oats. So they're going to house themselves inside the oats and they can eat it as well. And from time to time, like once, a, like once every three days, you know, just put a couple of banana peels in it. That's what you see here. These are banana peels. These are all banana peels, banana peels. And, um, you know, you put a banana peel in there and as it's decaying, they're going to eat it up. And probably within a, within like a week, you're going to see it like turning into like this here. And that's just because of them, the, the mealworms eating it. And um, not only that, but you could also put like, um, like this here, this is a, uh, a peel from a mango. That's a peel from a mango. You could use mangoes, you could use apples, pears, you know, um, bananas. I've learned that, um, that they really, they really like the banana peels. They really prefer the banana peels. Now, um, you know, just toss it in there and leave it there and let them do their thing. Let them eat it. Let them, uh, you know, get their fill. And doing it this way here, you actually, you know what the the worms are eating. You know what they're eating. And then when you feed these worms off to the to your cricket, your lizard, your scorpion or whatever, you know exactly what your animal is getting out of your feeders. Okay, if that makes sense. <clears throat> All right. So, you get your mealworms. They're going to look like this here. These are the mealworms. Boom. Hope you can see that. I'm sorry, I'm using I'm using my phone. It's not really doesn't really have the best camera. Until I can actually afford a real camera, I'm using a camera on my phone. But anyways, you get you get the mealworms look like that. And then in time, they're going to... You see how he's starting to curl? Well, that's because pretty soon he's going to evolve into something like this. I'm going to try to pick it up really gently. Something like this. All right, let me just... I'm just going to zoom in. Alright, so, I don't know if you can see it, but the mealworm is going to evolve into this thing right here, okay? Now, that's like a cocoon, like a, when a butterfly, no, sorry, when a caterpillar is going to evolve into a butterfly, before they evolve into the butterfly, they go into like a cocoon kind of thing, a cocoon stage, and that's just what this is. If you see, there's one, there's another one there, then there's a... Uh, no, that's just a, a skin. So, all these here, these are like skins from the mealworm. Because the mealworms, they, they grow. You know, they do. And as they grow, they shed their skin. Just like snakes. Until they reach this stage here. Where they're getting ready to evolve into these things. And after they evolve into these, then... Hopefully I can find it. It was just over here a few minutes ago. Take a little digging. But come on, don't make me look stupid. But eventually those things they will evolve into beetles. Yes, beetles. And once you get the beetles, once you get, once you have like a few of them, like, you know, three, four, five beetles, take them out of the container and put them in their, like their own container. That way they they can breed and start their whole process all over again, have eggs and, you know, eggs will, you know, hatch into more mealworms and then so on and so on. And doing it this way. It really limits how often you're going to the store, how often you're buying feeders off a line. It limits how often you're going to your local pet store to buy feeders. So that is my, <clears throat> that's my mealworm. 
whatever you want to call it. But then my crickets, I'll show you that right now. All right, bear with. So these are the crickets, these are the crickets. Now, I mean, hold on, let me know. So with the crickets, basically the same thing. Get some, uh, get some oats, put some oats in there. Now, um, crickets, they, they, they don't live long. They really don't. So if you get, if you get medium crickets, large crickets, they're not going to live long. Like you see this guy right here. This guy is dead. He did die. They don't live long. Okay, they don't. However, if you get small crickets, like you see over here, if you get small crickets, medium crickets, you know, get yourself a nice container like this, put some oats down. Again, doesn't have to be a certain flavor of oats, just regular oats. And um, try to find a, a container, like a really small container like this here. Put a piece of uh, paper towel. And then you're going to want to wet the paper towel. Here, I'll show you. Give me one second. So, get the paper towel. No, you don't want to put too much water. Because you don't want them to drown. And they will drown. They will. The crickets, they don't. They'll, they'll drown. But doing that, they will uh, they'll climb inside and they'll be able to drink the water right from the paper towel. Like, watch this guy right here. Watch what he does. You gonna do it? Okay, maybe not. Well, you're gonna do that. And then again, same as the mealworms, they, these guys, these guys absolutely love the banana peels. Now, the, now, now I just got to cleaning this out a couple of days ago. This, this, this was absolutely full of, of banana peels that were like all rotten and just like shriveled up. And I put some fresh ones in. This was like, uh, two days ago. And now they look like this here. Again, mango slice. And then this here. This orange stuff here, that is um, cricket quencher, you know, and the cricket, qu cricket quencher, sorry, say that one 10 times fast. The cricket quencher, now I'll, I'll, depending on how many crickets are in the container, I'll put in, I'll put in, I don't know, like, I'll put like one here, 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 a couple in the middle, and then like three or four down here. Just yeah, like, you want to spread it out that way there. The crickets, they're not, you know, on top of each other, you know, eating or drinking, whatever it is that, that they're doing with the cricket quencher, you know. And with with this here, as you see, I have a lot of uh, egg crates. And that's only because, well, I had a ton of crickets. They, I had, at one point, I had like over 100 crickets in here. And having that many crickets in here, you, you got to keep you got to have a way to keep them separate because you don't want them on top of each other because if they're on top of each other they're going to fight kill each other you know like you see this guy here that i just showed you now believe it or not eventually they will eat eat that guy even though it is a cricket eventually they will now I, yeah i can just drop this in the tank with the with the scorpion or with the gecko but they won't touch this because it's dead you know like everybody out there knows, geckos, lizards, whatnot, they go after prey that is moving. They're not going to go after prey that's just laying there. No, they're not. So, saw the mealworms, saw the crickets. Now, I'll show you the, uh, the superworms. Now, the superworms, now you'll really get to see what I mean. Now, I got to clean this out. I haven't cleaned this out in a while. But, um, so, these are the superworms. And, 
like you see the egg crate over here see it's all beat up you see all the holes that's from them chewing their way through because they go inside and then they chew it away and next thing you know it's full of this right here so these mealworms here i probably won't even feed off to um to the gecko and again even the mealworms okay you the mealworms just drop in some banana peels drop in some mango slices as you see there's a um there's a mealworm there's a superworm right right there there's a superworm right 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 there inside the peel of the mango and also see And these things, they are alive. See? Now, this thing, it will turn into a beetle eventually. Now, let me see if I can find it. I was looking through here the other day, and there was a beetle. There was. I think it was, like, towards the back. But there's still a few super worms in there. Um, but yeah, see, this is the uh, this is what the banana peels will turn into. As you can see, they chew right through the right through it. And this here, you can just toss it, you know, or you can leave it. You're probably better off leaving it because the the worms they'll have eggs, they'll have babies, they will, and when they have babies, you don't want the you don't want the eggs to get attached. I think this is an egg right here. Oh. But Yeah, I think that's an egg. But anyways, yeah. So you could throw these out, you know, or you're probably better off just leaving them in there because as the mealworms, you know, they will reproduce, you know, they'll have babies, eggs, and then the eggs hatch, blah, blah, blah. You know the process. Um, well, I believe they'll have eggs, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Please don't quote me on that. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Um, but, I mean, I have seen more superworms in here since I put these in and there are beetles in here I'm trying to find it I'm sorry I hope everybody had a great weekend I really hope everybody had a good weekend um uh, I, I, I don't know, I can't find it, but I know there is a beetle in there. Anywho, um, yeah, so yeah, that's the superworms. And uh, I do also, I, well, I started a, a, a roach colony. It's like, it's not really doing that great, you know. Well, let's take a look. I might as well show you while I'm at it. Give me a second. Where did I put my four? Yep. Okay, here they are. All right. So these are the roaches. They're the uh, the small ones. Let's see if I can find one that's alive. Now with the roaches, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie to you. I'm not. Oh, there we go. He's alive. Boom. But yeah, I'm not really too sure how to raise roaches. <laughs> but I mean, they're roaches. They eat just about everything and anything. So get yourself some roaches. Put them in a container like this here. 
you know, throw some, throw an egg cart in, in the, now, <laughs> this is actually cat food. I actually saw online that you can actually give, you could actually feed cat food off to your bugs because cat food is actually high in protein. Um, cat food. So cat food is like high in protein. So you can give that to the bugs. You can put that in, in the container. But if you have an animal that eats bugs, if you have a lizard, if you have a scorpion, if you have some sort of animal that eats bugs, it would be a good idea to get into raising your own. You know? And then that way there, you don't have to make as many stops to the store. Now, like you see, I have a little bowl in there for him. It's full of uh, mealworms. And he is right there, nice and content. And as for what I use, so this is the cricket cruncher I was telling you about. And then I have the Reptocalcium that uh, the associates at the store were actually nice enough. They actually gave this to me because when I first got the, when I first got the, the gecko and brought him home for like a good week, I struggled to find this stuff online even like. No stores really had it. So what I ended up doing, I ended up order I ended up I ordered this stuff here. The Rapashi. Now the rap Rapashi is really good. It's a calcium plus. And as you see, it's a vitamin and calcium. So you can either get this or you can purchase this. But I kind of have a little bit of all, all, you know, all of it. This is actually uh, just a vitamin. It's just a vitamin. Oh, it's with uh, beta carotene. And the way I do it is <clears throat> I, fill, I put some powder in a bag and drop some mealworms, drop some crickets in the bag, shake it up a little bit, feed them off. But the way I do it is... One day, I'll give him this. The next day, I'll give him this. Then the next day, I'll give him this. Then the next day, I'll give him nothing. Nothing. No food, no supplements, nothing. And then the next day after that, I'll give him, I'll give him food, but no supplements. So it's like he's, get, he's getting two days off of the supplements, but one day off of food, if that makes sense. Okay, and I mean, so far, my guy, he has, he's been shedding, no issues, he's been growing, like, he's been doing great, honestly, since I first brought him home, you know, I mean, you know, I got this little cave in there for him, now, this back wall, I did the whole back wall myself, there's a, uh, there's one of those half logs, here. like, you see that half log there? I, I had one of those. And I actually put it, I glued it on the wall with a whole bunch of sticks and other stuff that I found. Of course, you know, I baked it at 400 degrees for like half hour, 40 minutes before I actually did it. Just to ensure that everything was nice and clean. And uh, that's his water dish right there. He has this tree right here he could go into. This, this hide right here, I actually made this. I made that with the little stairs up top. You know, that way they, if he wants to sit up here, he can just to be closer to the heat. Um, that little bowl over there, that's his moist hide. And the moist hide, all that is, is just a, a small Rubbermaid container that I took. I cut a hole in it. And as you see, I taped the whole thing. I taped it. I mean, before taping it, I, I put glue down. That way the tape wouldn't come off. And then inside of it, it's just a paper towel. That's it. It's just a paper towel. Now, every day, I'll spray that down with water. Every day. But every other day, I'll change out the paper towel. 
That way it stays nice and clean. And I actually, I got this thing here for, for him, but um, my uh, my green thumb isn't the greatest, so I haven't I haven't really been doing that great of a job keeping that thing alive. Um, I picked up some of this stuff here, this plant food stuff, and um, that's actually that's actually why the water is the color the way it is because of that stuff. And um, every day. <laughs> I put it in the window, in, in, in the sunlight, and I'll open the window, you know, let some fresh air come in, you know, but, yeah, no, it's dying, anyways, that's it for today's video, I just wanted to show you guys, you know, my feeders, and how I raise them, and how I feed off my, my gecko, and my scorpion, even though a little bastard won't eat for me, you know what, here, let me show you him real quick. Just before I finish this off. So. He. He's under here. He loves it under there. He does. That's his favorite. And that's only because. I don't know if you can see. But. There's like a little. Where is it? Right. Right there. He'll go under there. And he'll just stay right there. Now. In here. There uh, there's crickets running around in here. There's mealworms, superworms, those little things that I showed you that the worms turn into before they turn into beetles. There's actually beetles in here too. There's two beetles running around in here. Ah, right there. See? There you go. That's it. See it? And then right over here, that is a big ass cockroach. That's one of those I think it's a Madagascar hissing cockroach. I know it hisses because when I put it in there, the thing was like screaming at me. And last night, actually, the scorpion came out. I heard him. He was coming out and he was going around and he hasn't even touched that cockroach. So there's plenty of food in here. There's plenty of food in here. So I don't know why he's not eating it. So, yeah, I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you learned. I hope this video was somewhat helpful to you. Do me a favor, either way, hit that thumbs up button. You know, if you didn't like the video, I'm sorry. Instead of being a negative Nancy, do me a favor. Leave me a comment. Give me some advice. What should I do to better my YouTubing skills? You know? Anyways, hope everyone has a great night. Enjoy what's left of the night. Have a great week. All right? I'll see you in the next one.